name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, as we continue on the celebration of Christmas time, uh, again, as in, uh, there's so many different feasts, and today is the Feast of the Holy Innocents. And we'll come to focus on that in a minute. The first reading is from John his letter, and it talks about forgiveness, God's mercy always there, but we have to ask for it. We have to let it in. We have to admit that we are sinners, and then the mercy is there. So let's, let's do that right now. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the wisdom of God and the splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And on this feast, in this happy season, we still echo the song of the angels as we say together, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, whom the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying, Grant, we pray, that the faith in which, the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. And we pray it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives, who reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus, cleanses us from all sin. <clears throat> if we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, 
and not only for our sins, but for those of the whole world. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive with their fury, when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord, the white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When the Magi had departed, Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. And so Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled, out of Egypt I have called my son. Now when Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious, and he ordered the massacre of all the boys in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under in accordance with the time that he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet. A voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. If you were here yesterday, Father Don mentioned how in this Christmas week so many things happen so fast. Um, they're on their way to Bethlehem, Jesus is born, now they're leaving and they're going to have the massacre of the innocents. But if you, the beginning, the Magi had already come and gone. We know we haven't celebrated Epiphany yet. So many things are happening. As opposed, say, to our Easter celebration that goes on for 50 days. And we have time to kind of take things bit by bit. So what's all going on? Most likely, by the time this has happened, Jesus is no longer a little baby in the stable. He's grown. He could be two years or under. We don't know. We don't know. Most likely, they had moved into a house someplace. They were living in Bethlehem. And then by this time, the Magi arrived. Herod heard all about this. It was ruminating in his head. 
and he decided, this is it. I'm getting rid of any competition. And so all these young boys will be killed. And by God's caring love, Joseph will take Mary and Jesus into Egypt to be safe. You can't be blind not to see how all of this is happening today in Gaza, in Palestine, in so many countries all over the world. The innocents are dying because of the great ones. And sometimes it's interesting, like with Herod, it could be one dictator who on a whim decides that's it. Other times it's a whole system of conglomerates, of politicians, of groups, but powers of evil that are going completely against God's design that all creation and all human beings, all flesh, are a mirror of God. And so I just urge us to pray today. Yes, I mean, we've been kind of in the last years in the United States, we think of the holy innocence and we think of abortion. That's just a part of it. That's just a part of it. Children without medical care, people who have no homes. All of this is in this gospel today. People fleeing to a safe place, Joseph, Mary, and Jesus. People fleeing today to safe places all over the world. And then the innocents who are the victims of a whim, of a dictator, of the policies of an evil system. So we have a lot to do to pray for all those people, and in our own little way, to work to change that, to stop that, to let God's kingdom take root, to let God's kingdom really change things on this earth. That's why Jesus came. That's why Jesus came. So let us pray in the name of the whole church. And we pray for all the brothers and sisters in the church around the world that the good news and the nearness of Jesus would give us light and wisdom and courage. We pray to the Lord. And then indeed, let us pray for all the places where there is violence and tragedy on little children. We pray for the Holy Lands, for Ukraine, for Africa. We pray that the hearts of leaders, but the hearts of ordinary fellow citizens would realize the horror of this and work to change and work for peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord and let us pray in this season of births for all those who are expecting babies and for newly born and for young families as they try to move ahead. That Joseph and Mary, and Jesus would surround each one, each family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And as we think of families, let us also pray for reconciliation the healing of wounds and memories, the openness for a possible new future if there's great hurt. For all families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick, for God's healing touch on you if you're not well. Through all those who take care of the sick day by day, we pray for Ray Burton, for Mark Paris. Pray for Mary Arnold, you know, the two sisters who come on Sunday Mass in the back there. They will, she has a terrible embolism or something. and She's in the hospital. It's tricky business. So for Mary Arnold, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our dearly departed, 
We pray today for Grace Anastasio, for Patrick Connolly, who is the, the brother of Sister Rosemary Connolly, who was here for so many years. Patrick Connolly. And the Mass today is offered for all the families in the Bible study program. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And then in quiet, we tell God what is most in our hearts this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, with infinite care, you watched over the baby Jesus, sent him all the care that his father and mother could bring. Help us then with that same love. Watch over us and all your people throughout the earth. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so then let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings of your devoted servants and purify us as we faithfully serve these, your mysteries, by which you grant justification even to those who lack understanding. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ the Lord. For through him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor. But by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in the company of choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time when he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, he gave it to his disciples. And he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And 
in a similar way when the supper was ended. He took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, Christopher, his coadjutor, Archbishop, all the clergy. And remember also our brothers, our sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And Lord, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Filled with the Spirit of God, the Spirit that makes us daughters and sons, let us say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. O oh Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Peace, everyone. Merry Christmas. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of the Lord keep us all together unto everlasting life. So let us pray. O oh Lord, grant abundant salvation to your faithful as they receive your holy gifts. On this feast day of these, your saints, who though still unable to profess your son in speech, were crowned with heavenly grace on account of his birth. 
He who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you have a peaceful day. The, um, the prime time is still there for one or two more days and they finish. And our, you know, our own gift shop is now closed until February. So the whole month of January, there's no gift shop. But when it opens, you'll be amazed. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.